Hello and welcome back to Boas Biker Channel. For those who are here for the first time, please subscribe and click the bell. Okay, today I decided to give the bike a wash and to change my seat and my windscreen. The seat is already changed and the bike is already washed. So as you can see, I've changed quite a bit already. So I've been plastic dipping some things. I've changed the tank to black and the beak. They both were red to start with. I've also changed my crash bars to black. They were silver. So now it's the seat. I turned it from the black stock GS seat to the GS Adventure seat, black and red. It's a bit higher and together with my gel pad, it's a good fit for me. I'm six foot five and a half, one meter 97, so I'm quite tall. I've also changed my Vario cases to make them a bit darker and I put some decals on them. So, what do you think? Leave your comments down below. So what's left for today? That's the windscreen. So I've been using the standard windscreen from the GS with an extra top from Turatech. So now I'm going to change it to a dark adventure screen with an extra support. So why am I changing the windscreen? Well, if we take a look, this windscreen from top to the point is 46 centimeters. If we look at the standard GS windscreen, it is from top to point 36 centimeters. So I'm gaining 10 centimeters and that is what now is my extra Turatech screen. So what can I do if I want to, I can put the Turatech extra screen on top of the adventure screen to create an even higher screen. But we'll see what the buffering does with the GSA, the adventure screen. So I'm going to remove these two bolts and then and on either side these knobs remember if you are going to remove these knobs that there is a nut at the back so you have to uh, take something to hold it and then unscrew it so you can take it out if you don't you're just loosening it and you can move the screen but you cannot not take it out let's do this so on the left side it's easy you take a small wrench and a 10 female bit and you can fit it in between like this and then you can loosen the knob so it's loose now and there it is the nut from the back make sure you don't lose it on this side it's a bit more difficult because the screw from the headlight is in the way. You cannot easily fit the uh, wrench with the female bit. What worked for me, it's already a bit loose, but I just put the female bit on the nut. Like that. And then I have a screwdriver and I fit it from behind and if I hold it like this, I can just hold it enough to loosen it. So now that the two nuts from these knobs are loose, I'm going to take out these bolts before I take out the knobs. So the windscreen is off. Be careful, at the back of the knob there is another nut that fits from the back in this slot that's why it has flat sides make sure you don't lose them so you need two of them for each side one now let's start building the new the adventure screen 
the black one. So next thing to do is take the bolts out and take these things apart. They are clipped together so I just pulled very hard and they came apart. Time to switch them over to the other side. So make sure you do it correct. Take a look at this one. The narrow part at the bottom and the fat part, the bigger part, at the top. Let's try this. I have switched everything over, so the knobs, the rubbers, I've all put them in here. The rubbers, the knobs and the extra support is fitted. So now it's time to fit them onto the bike. All done. Everything's fitted. And everything fits. So it's the big adventure screen, smoked dark color, now fitted on my Mina, my 2005 BMW R1200 GS. So new today, the adventure seat and the adventure windscreen. What will be next? What do you want to see me do? Leave it in a comment down below. So what do you think? Looks good, doesn't it? Leave your comments down below. And that's all y'all. See you next time. I hope you enjoyed this video and please remember to subscribe and hit that bell so you keep up to date. It won't cost you anything, but it will help me. And do leave your comments down below.